Coming off back-to-back -back losses for the first time this season, head coach Greg McDermott saying this is a fragile time for 16th-ranked Creighton. But a favorable matchup for CU today trying to snap the two-game skid. The Jays hosting a DePaul team they've beaten nine of the last ten times. The annual pink out game today in a nice moment before the tip. Creighton honoring longtime DePaul athletic director Gene Lenti Ponsetto, a breast cancer survivor. A cold start offensively for both teams. No field goals in the first three minutes, but Kyrie Thomas ends that team high 18 for the Omaha native. Jays up 3 0 early. A few minutes later, Zach Hansen got a big ovation when he checked in, an even bigger one after scoring his first bucket. Since an ankle injury kept him sidelined for over two months, see you ahead by 13. And just before the half, wearing Caleb Joseph's number 14 jersey, but don't worry, that's still Marcus Foster. Knocks down the trade. Creighton leading 44 29 at the break. Second half, Davion Mintz, who made his first career start this afternoon, goes coast to coast for the lay in. Jays in front by 12, and then Creighton starting to take control. Cole Huff adds on. He finished with 12 points today. Creighton snaps its two-game losing streak, 83-66. It's good to see these guys smile again. It's been, uh, as you know, uh, a tough 10 days or so for our program. I think every day we're getting a better understanding of what it's going to take. Today we were just really locked in. We got in our huddles during, during breaks, free throws and stuff like that, and we discussed what we need to do. And, you know, we need everybody out there today, and, you know, we just stuck together. And Creighton is back in action with a big test against 11th-ranked Butler Tuesday night at 6 p.m. on FS1. Meanwhile.